Good morning, everybody. It is 4.55 a.m. and I'm going to work. It's crazy. Hey, so I made it to California. So I'm a professor and I get a lot of questions and that's, and that's a great thing. I, I love questions. I love answering questions for my students. But recently some of, the, some of the questions that I've been getting have got me thinking. And specifically it's, it's questions like these. Like uh, my students will ask things like, like how much memory can I allocate before Malik is gonna fail? Or what if I've mapped a page in memory and I try to unmap half of it? Well, what's going to happen then? And, and there's nothing wrong with questions. In fact, I love that my students ask questions, but sometimes I think that my students forget that they're programmers. They forget that they've got a compiler, that they know how to actually test and answer a lot of their own questions. You know, they know how to solve some of these problems. And, and sometimes we forget. And, and so we're like, I just don't know how to do that. And we just stop. So, I mean, let's just look at this because some, a lot of these questions can be answered really, really fast. So, so let's look at that first question that I posed, just, you know, as an example. So, so how much memory can I, can I malloc before, before our, uh, malloc's going to return null? And so, so let's try it out. Let's, Let's let's try to infinitely malloc a gigabyte at a time until malloc returns null, until, until we get a null pointer back. So we can write some code really quick, we try it out, and whoa, that's a lot of memory. Now, now right now I haven't explained, I, mean, I, ha I haven't answered the question of why this happens, but now you know what happens if you try to malloc too much memory. So maybe uh, I'll, I'll dig into the why this happens in a future video, but I, mostly today I just wanted to talk about experimentation. Yes, ask questions, ask lots of questions, but also don't forget that you have at your fingertips the ability to answer a lot of your own questions, to explore, to, to really try stuff out, especially corner cases that might be poorly documented or that you just wonder about. So people don't stop asking questions, but also don't stop exploring. Until next time, I'll see you later.